My parents came to the States, you know, to provide a better life and provide more opportunities for the kids. And I also remember my dad leaving when I was five and leaving us with just a whole bunch of debt. I remember my mom weeping and I thought to myself when I was five, I said, I don't know what I'm gonna be when I grow up, but I know this, I'm gonna be rich. And so from five to going into college, that's, that was my one goal in life. I was gonna be a doctor so that I could um, help support my mom. And I'm gonna provide for her and I'm gonna provide for my younger sisters in a way that my dad hasn't. One of my uh, spiritual mentors, he asked me if I would come preach at his small little Korean church. And I also remember feeling at home, like something was just right about this. And that spiritual mentor came back to me and said, I think you're called into ministry. I think for me, the thought of going into ministry meant, you know, you're gonna have to be poor. The hardest thing that I had to give up was, if I go down this route, I'm never gonna be able to support my mom. And, um, you know, it was in those times of prayer that God reminded me, man, I can take care of them and I love them more than you do. It felt like God was calling us to California and work at this church called Menlo Park Presbyterian Church. And I had the privilege of serving on staff there for about seven years. And then fast forward one year, I met a guy named Francis Chan who was doing ministry in San Francisco. And then we just talked about what the church could be, everything that the church could be. And Francis says to me, hey, I want you to pray about joining me. I'm gonna launch this church. And um, you know, here's the church that I'm at that's been great, super supportive, great congregation, great place to, to be, but just really stable. And uh, again, uh, very blessed and well-resourced. And, um, and then, Francis says to me, I want you to pray about having you and your family join me in building this church out. There's no pay, there's no stability, and then we're gonna launch in the Hunters Point Bayview area of San Francisco, which is six times more violent than any other place in San Francisco. We're gonna launch in the projects. You know, I, I think the biggest thing that, that helped me make that decision was you know, just me thinking, man, if I left my job at Menlo, there would be a hundred pastors lined up to take my spot. But no one's lining up to plant a church in the Bayview area. And I think that's where a church should be. And so um, I had to pick up a, you know, a second job. It's been a year since uh, we've launched that church and we've seen just incredible fruit from our ministry, and God's allowed us into the lives of many of the people here in the community, and um, we've seen the gospel at work in ways that are supernatural and powerful beyond what we could even anticipate, and so it's been pretty crazy but fun ride for us.